Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then... We will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk, probably. Use this. This is like BS. Uh, he's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Keep away from me, you cheap bastard. Oh, sweet Jesus. I've wasted my life oh, and my on, looks. Stand still and I'll make it quick. Go in the way, but you're squealing. No one cares, Pat, so... Tommy! Come and join me! This looks delicious, huh? Tapia snout. Oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. The rain, she is very wet this time of the year. What? Ah, uh, come on? Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig that is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over! You American idiot, they followed you here. Shoot for the bullet! You got to do better, Mr. Snell! <laughs> Ah, 
Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. What did you say your name was? You must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. I said, you understand me now? Oye, chico, eso no pude ser. I say no to that, man.
I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin' paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. Is this me? Nice ass, baby.
Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Don't be hard! I'll chop your head off! Who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse! You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up! Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. Dippin' hooch in her. Too slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you?